All right, one last example, and this one will deal with uh, looking at a lot of uh, different numbers, uh, but really there's only one unknown, and we'll look at it as being the one we know the least amount about. So this one says we have a piece of wire, and it is 80 feet long. Uh, we're going to cut this into three different pieces, with the longest piece being 10 feet more than the middle size piece, and the short piece being 5 feet less than the middle size piece. Find the length of the three pieces. Hmm. So, again, it, it looks like we don't know anything about the short, the middle, or the long one, but we'll write them all just using one variable. Let's see, what shall we use? So I know a little bit about the, all of them put together, since I know that my total is 80 feet long. Uh, I'm going to cut it into three pieces. The longest piece is 10 feet more than the middle. So 10 feet more than the middle. So I know a lot about the long one. Uh, let's see, the middle size piece and the shorter piece is five feet less than the middle size piece. So I know a little bit about the middle one. It's five feet less, or I mean it's five feet more than the shorter one since the shorter one is five feet less. So I think what I need to set up as my unknown We'll say that uh, x is the length of the short piece. Okay. Now we'll try and describe all the other pieces using just that short length right there. So let's see if we can do it. Uh, so my middle piece, or I'm sorry, the short piece is 5 feet less than the middle piece. Hmm. So if I take uh, x and I add 5 to it, that should give me my middle piece just fine. Let's see. Now if the long one is 10 feet more than the middle, then I can start with the middle and add another 10, and this would represent the long piece. So I need to take my short piece, my middle piece, and my long piece, and be able to put all of those together and represent the 80 total feet of wire. All right, let's set up this equation. So short piece, x, plus our middle piece, x plus 5, plus our long piece, x plus 15. All of this should equal a total of 80 feet. All right, so we got our equation. Let's work to solve it. Adding together our like pieces, I have three x's. Then I can put together the 5 and the 15 and get 20. So now I have 3x plus 20 is equal to 80. All right, let's subtract 20 from both sides, giving us a 3x is equal to 60. Now we'll divide both sides by 3, and we'll see what x needs to be. So x is equal to 20. Okay, so it looks like our shorter piece of wire is going to be 20 feet long. Now we also want to identify what all the other ones need to be. So we can use these smaller expressions over here to figure out what they need to be. So since the shorter piece is 5 feet less than the middle piece, we can simply add 5 to this and get that middle. So middle piece twenty five feet long. All right, looks good. And our long piece, since it is 10 more than the middle one, we'll add 10 to the 25. 35 feet long. So now we have information about all three bits of wire. All right, now if we add all of these up, we should get a total of 80. 20 plus 25 would be 45, plus another 35. Sure enough, adds up to a total of 80 feet.
So you can see that the process of really interpreting these word problems can be a little tricky, but if you look for those keywords and, and really try and hunt down your unknowns as much as possible, uh, it can work out pretty well. And again, always look at the context of the problem to make sure your answers make sense. Thanks for watching educator.com.